I am the professor, the and no other, Julius Sumner Miller. And I live in this here castle amidst strange and exciting things which nature provides. And I want to speak about that. When I say nature provides, I mean we must spell it with a capital N and be constantly enchanted by the things we see. Clouds in the sky, a bird soaring. Now I can see some people saying a bird, he is like a vulture. Clouds in the sky, the rainbow, the falling rain, the mist, the fog, the sea, the growing of a plant, the birth of living creatures, the blossoming of a flower, all enchanting to see, adding to the fullness of your life. But I want to come back to the singing pipes. You remember the metal ones? They sang after they were excited, the cardboard ones during excitation. And then I showed these two, which I want to show again, because you heard that strange phenomenon called beats. Watch this one alone. And I just love this. The music can't fall out this way. Of course it can't fall out this way. Now it can fall out. <laughs> I just love that. And I'm going to do it with this one because I like it. And you'll discover... Oh, 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 you'll discover that I do things many times for the principal reason that I like it. Fill it with music. Can't fall out. How can it fall out like that? Now it can fall out. But when we do them together, we hear that strange business. it all fell out of. Notice, one, it all fell out of. Ending a sentence with a preposition is very bad. But you remember Mr. Churchill was once chided for ending a sentence with a preposition? And how did he reply to that? He said as follows, this is a criticism up with which I will not put. Oh, man. And if Churchill could end a sentence with a preposition, I, the professor in this obscure castle of strange things, can say it too. Now, don't cloud the issue with facts. <laughs> now, about those pipes. Why did we have beats? Well, there's one pipe, and there's the other pipe, and they both had screens in them. Oh, by the way, <coughs> I should not tell you this, but guess where I got those screens? I got them from my neighbor's windows. Why should I use my own screen? So, I heated this one, and it had its natural frequency. And I heated this one, and it had its natural frequency. And so you were getting some condensations and rarefactions upon your eardrum, not in phase always. And thus it was those beats that we heard, about which you can talk with your music teacher. Yeah, is not that wonderful to hear? I mentioned the ear. Imagine there falls upon your eardrum compressions and rarefactions from my talking and your eardrum is set into excitation and those pressure pulses are delivered to the bones in the inner ear which are a marvel of mechanism and thence to the brain so in the last analysis you hear with your brain which is a good way to hear very good if you have a good brain now back to the cardboard pipes i want you to take a look at the array of them i have here just take a look at them you see what I have? Three, five, seven. Oh, I should have eight. Why do I speak of having eight? Because if I had them properly in length and excited them successfully, I could deliver to you the major diatonic scale. And that would allow me to play a Bach chorale by running from one pipe to the next with a burner. A Bach chorale with so-called empty cardboard pipes. Is not that enchanting to witness? So we are going to leave the pipes for a while and return another day with more enchanting things of many, many sorts. And I thank you for listening.